63% of Australians are either overweight or obese. I think that America's not far behind. Is that if you're struggling with your weight, I don't want you to overlook this key nutrients. Vitamin D is deficiency is a massive health problem. And so many people have vitamin deficiencies. So let's ask that question. Vitamin D deficiency and weight gain, is it related? Vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It's also a pro-hormone. And so it's responsible for so many hormone producing reactions within your body. You've got to have vitamin D. Have you gained weight after 40 despite not making any drastic changes to your diet or lifestyle? If so, you're not alone. For many people, this mysterious weight gain creeps up without warning. The frustrating part. It often feels like no matter how hard you try, those extra pounds just won't budge. But what if I told you that a single vitamin deficiency might be behind this struggle? Yes, that's right. One often overlooked vitamin could be the key to understanding and reversing the mysterious weight gain that plagues so many people after the age of 40. The good news is you can fix this deficiency starting tonight. According to multiple studies, the vitamin that could be causing your weight gain after 40 is vitamin D, also known as the sunshine vitamin. This video is backed by and includes teachings from well-respected doctors and naturopaths, including Barbara O'Neill, Dr. Josh Axe, Dr. Mindy Pels, Dr. Eric Berg, Dr. Mark Newman, and others, all of whom share the same opinion about this. That is something you don't often see among different doctors, and even more especially between doctors and naturopaths. When we look at vitamin D deficiency and weight gain, studies tell us that increased body fat is more likely with vitamin D deficiency. Now, how do vitamin D deficiency and weight gain symptoms appear? Well, obesity is a risk factor for vitamin D deficiency because the fat cells will sequester your vitamin D and it's not ava as available. In the female body, we know that total and abdominal fat were more likely with low vitamin D. In the male body, if you've got low vitamin D, that's often linked to more fat in the liver and the abdomen. Now, what about obesity and vitamin D deficiency? Well, obese people may not be consuming as many uh, vitamin D rich foods. Many studies have confirmed that vitamin D deficiency is linked to increased weight gain, particularly after the age of 40. These studies reveal that the association between low vitamin D and weight gain appears to be more pronounced in individuals over 40 because of the changes in metabolism and hormonal balance as people age. So what kind of changes in metabolism and hormones are related to vitamin D deficiency and weight gain? Let's start with insulin resistance. If you are low in vitamin D, it affected your pancreatic beta cells. These are the cells that have control over insulin actually being secreted. The second thing they noted was that when vitamin D levels go low, it affected the responsiveness of your cells to insulin. So when your vitamin D is low, you're not only having trouble making insulin, and if you can't make insulin, glucose is gonna get stored as fat, but you also have trouble with the cells being responsive to the insulin that is being made. So if you're not familiar with insulin resistance, it is at the root of all immune problems, all weight loss uh, resistant issues, uh, chronic, it leads to chronic disease. It's why we're seeing such this pandemic has taken over the world is because insulin resistance is rampant and we've got to get you insulin sensitive again. When your body doesn't get enough vitamin D, it can affect how well your cells respond to insulin, a hormone that helps manage blood sugar. This condition is known as insulin resistance. A study in the International Journal of Molecular Sciences shows that vitamin D supplementation improves insulin sensitivity in individuals with type 2 diabetes. When your cells don't respond properly to insulin, your body has trouble using sugar for energy, causing higher levels of sugar in your blood. Over time, this excess sugar can lead to more fat being stored in your body, resulting in weight gain. Apart from insulin resistance, there is another factor that links vitamin D deficiency and weight gain. Now I went on to look at, well, what about leptin resistance? Sure enough, same thing that they saw the lower your vitamin D levels, the higher your leptin levels. So remember, leptin is the hormone that will tell your brain to burn fat. 
and it needs to be, it's released from the fat cells and it should go up into the brain and tell the hypothalamus, hey, I'm down here. So you want this to be a very efficient system. Well, just having extra leptin doesn't mean you're a better fat burner, doesn't mean you're out gonna get out of fat loss resistance anytime soon. You need that leptin to be sensitive and vitamin D is key to both insulin and leptin sensitivity. Another study in the frontiers in endocrinology shows that leptin resistance occurs when the brain fails to respond to high levels of leptin. Leptin resistance often becomes more prevalent as we age, particularly after our 40s. With age, vitamin D deficiency makes the body less responsive to leptin. This makes it harder to manage weight. As a result, many people experience weight gain in their 40s and beyond, driven by the body's impaired ability to regulate appetite and fat storage efficiently. So, why is vitamin D important for weight control? Vitamin D is not just a vitamin. It's also a pro-hormone. And so it's responsible for so many hormone producing reactions within your body. You've got to have vitamin D. Now, although it's classified as a vitamin, vitamin D acts more like a hormone in the body. When your skin is exposed to sunlight, it produces vitamin D, which is then converted into its active form, calcitriol, in the liver and kidneys. Once activated, calcitriol functions like a hormone helping regulate calcium and phosphorus levels in the blood, supporting bone health, and influencing many biological processes, including weight management. That vitamin D may be that missing thing that you need for your weight loss efforts. Vitamin D is deficiency is a massive health problem, and so many people have vitamin deficiencies. That had taken the 50,000 IUs over six weeks, they lost weight, that it was statistically relevant that they not only lost weight, but they also lost weight around their waist. Oh, hallelujah, what a, so many of us are looking for that drop in, in weight around their waist. So they not only lost weight, they not only lost it around their weight, but their overall BMI went down. Now, why that third statistic is really important is because when the BMI goes down, that is often a measurement for you, your long-term health goals. For many people over 40, the most stubborn weight gain happens around the belly. This isn't just a cosmetic issue. It can have serious implications for your health, increasing your risk of heart disease and type 2 diabetes. Dr. Mindy Peltz is a holistic health expert and best-selling author known for her work in women's health and hormone balance. She shares a study that was published in the International Journal of Preventive Medicine. This shows that adequate vitamin D levels can enhance weight management and metabolic health. Vitamin, the lack of vitamin D in fat cells um, uh, promotes more storage of calories as fat, mm -hmm. um, whereas the absence of, uh, of uh, where there is the presence of vitamin D turns off the agouti gene um, and, 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 and enhances lipolysis or the breakdown of fat. Okay. okay, so the little set point on the thermostat can be shifted a little one way or the other mm. within your fat cells with, uh, with vitamin D. Dr. James Dowd is a rheumatologist known for his expertise in vitamin D and its role in health. He explains that vitamin D can influence the set point of how your body stores or burns fat, helping shift it toward more fat burning when adequate levels of the vitamin are present. Furthermore, let's not forget the relationship between stress hormone and weight gain. In fact, even vitamin D as itself is really considered, for many reasons, more of a hormone than a vitamin, especially the steroid hormones in the family of cortisol. The chemistry of cortisol, which is the stress hormone, is very similar to vitamin D as well. And away from other things like vitamin D, this is another reason why people end up with low vitamin D when they have high levels of stress. One of the key ways vitamin D deficiency contributes to belly fat is through its impact on cortisol levels. Cortisol, often referred to as the stress hormone, plays a role in how your body stores fat, especially around the midsection. Low vitamin D levels have been linked to higher cortisol production, leading to increased belly fat. Let's get to another important piece of puzzle, the thyroid glands. Low vitamin D is consistently associated with both not only hypothyroidism, but Hashimoto's and also other autoimmune conditions. 
Dr. Scott Beyer is a health and wellness expert known for his work in functional medicine and nutrition. He highlights another critical factor to consider when addressing weight gain after 40 thyroid health. Vitamin D plays an essential role in thyroid function. Studies have shown that vitamin D deficiency is common in individuals with hypothyroidism. This condition makes your thyroid glands underactive and your metabolism slows down, eventually leading to weight gain. So, what we see is that there's a vicious cycle at play here. Gaining weight can make it harder for your body to absorb vitamin D. This is because vitamin D is fat-soluble, meaning that it gets stored in fat cells. As fat cells grow larger, they trap more vitamin D, making it less available for the body to use. This deficiency then leads to further weight gain, perpetuating the cycle. The good news? Vitamin D levels can be increased. Are you wondering how? But before we get to that, it's also important to be aware of the signs that indicate that you are vitamin D deficient. By addressing a vitamin D deficiency, you can break this cycle and start shedding the unwanted pounds. Let's take a look at the signs and symptoms. The thing uh, that can cause or the big symptoms you might have with a vitamin D deficiency are immune issues. If you have a weakened immune system, that could be correlated with a vitamin D deficiency. If you have candida or bacterial overgrowth, it can be caused from a vitamin D deficiency. If you struggle with, let's say, emotional ups and downs like depression and anxiety, that can be a cause. Um, hormone imbalance, major cause of vitamin D deficiency. If you have trouble putting on muscle or losing weight, those are all correlated with a vitamin D deficiency. If you have weak bones or teeth, osteoporosis or osteopenia, those are warning signs you have a vitamin D deficiency. So again, you can see there are a lot of things, and I, I didn't even get into certain other things like cancer and diabetes and heart disease, but those are all warning signs you could have a vitamin D deficiency. Many people are deficient without even realizing it. Dr. Josh Axe, a doctor of natural medicine, chiropractor, and nutrition expert, highlights a number of symptoms associated with vitamin D deficiency. Now that we understand the role of vitamin D in weight gain, the next step is to boost your levels. The great news is that increasing your vitamin D intake is relatively simple and can lead to noticeable improvements in your weight, energy, and overall well-being. So, how can you increase your vitamin D levels? Number one, get more sun exposure. Number one is not getting enough sunlight. The sun should be your number one source of vitamin D. I recommend getting outside 20 minutes to 30 minutes every single day. Hey, even if it's cold outside, getting a little bit of sun on your face and hands, it's so important for getting vitamin D. The most natural way to increase your vitamin D levels is through sun exposure. When your skin is exposed to sunlight, it produces vitamin D. Number two, Incorporate vitamin D-rich foods. Getting enough vitamin D from food alone can be challenging, but incorporating certain foods into your diet can help boost your levels. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and sardines are excellent sources of vitamin D. Egg yolks also provide a good amount, as do fortified foods like milk, orange juice, and cereals. Additionally, some varieties of mushrooms, such as mitochi, are higher in vitamin D and can be a useful addition to your diet. Certain foods will contain small amounts of vitamin D. Number one source will be wild-caught salmon or fish. So again, getting wild-caught fish on a regular basis. Also, raw fermented milk, like a goat's milk yogurt, uh, may have small amounts of vitamin D, as will mushrooms and eggs. But again, you're going to get very small amount in diet. Those foods are good. But again, it's only small amounts of vitamin D. Number three, consider a vitamin D supplement. Then the next thing would be take a high quality vitamin D supplement and you don't want to take vitamin D2. You do want to start taking vitamin D3 and there are many forms of this and there are several good brands out there today. But again, you can actually take it in a capsule form. Uh, you can actually get it in a spray bottle form. But again, vitamin D is essential to take as a supplement. And for most adults, 2,000 to 5,000 IUs a day is what's recommended. Now, for many people, especially those over 40, diet and sun exposure alone may not be enough to reach optimal vitamin D levels. This is where a supplement comes in. Taking a vitamin D3 supplement is one of the easiest and most effective ways to increase your vitamin D levels. Number four, use a vitamin D lamp. If you struggle to get enough sun exposure, a vitamin D lamp can be a great alternative. These lamps emit UVB light, which triggers vitamin D production in the skin, much like natural sunlight. 
they are particularly useful during the winter months when sunlight is scarce. Number five, combine vitamin D with fish oil or almond butter. And here's one last important thing to remember. When you are supplementing with vitamin D3, you wanna take it with some fat because it's a fat soluble vitamin. So take it with a teaspoon of coconut oil or take it with a fish oil supplement. But when you are taking vitamin D, you wanna take it with some healthy fat like coconut, avocado, or uh, almond butter. You wanna get it with some healthy fat because it actually improves and increases absorption there as well. Fish oil provides omega-3 fatty acids, which further support overall health, while almond butter offers healthy fats and additional nutrients like vitamin E. Taking vitamin D with these fat sources ensures better absorption and maximizes its benefits for bone, immune, and overall health. So, without giving it a second thought, start fixing it tonight! Remember, weight gain after 40 doesn't have to be a mystery, and vitamin D deficiency could be the missing piece of the puzzle. By understanding how this essential nutrient affects metabolism, fat storage, and overall health, you can take control of your weight and well-being. So, have you experienced unexplained weight gain after 40? Could it be tied to a vitamin D deficiency? Share your thoughts and experiences in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more health and wellness tips.